Scarlet's white Jason. This whole wife's a lovely colour in the sun on it, mate. Just go around the corner just here. There's a big area of grass. We look on that and then go down, uh, down across the field. As we come along the main road, I see two walking up across one of the cover crops there. I couldn't see whether those bucks or does, so we just sn sneak up across there and see what they are. And then uh, walk right the way around, see if we can bump into sight. They're coming around the corner. I was expecting maybe to see something here. This isn't where we saw the ones on the cover crop. That's just up a bit further. Whether he smelt us or, or what he smelt. But um, yeah, he, he run on and he stood there nice and it wasn't quite the right angle for a start, but he was there and he started to run and Jason, Jason quite kindly shouted and stopped him and that was, that was good enough. He, he went down nicely and just got up and he's just laying on the side of the field there. So no, it was a nice one. So thanks for that, Jason. Looks like quite a nice bug. Yeah, he don't look too bad. Yeah, it's first rodeo I shot with this rifle, so yeah, well chuffed. So 100% with it at the moment, so no, I'm well happy. Good boy, he's a good boy, ain't ya, hey? Good boy. You can see he's only a, he's only a little buck. He's a prime example for a cold buck. He's probably, I don't know, was he a couple of three year old, I suppose. He's definitely not a specimen, and the keeper wanted one, so he's as good a one as any to take. Jason's kindly lent me his Emberleaf knife, and he's just telling me he's done about 30 deer. He's topped and tailed with this. You look at it and it's just so well balanced. It's a lovely knife. <laughs> just cut through behind its tendons here to put the sticks on and it's just a case of just touching it. That was my knife so I'll be sawing away like with a train saucer. But no, it's, it's sharp. And like you said, he hasn't sharpened it for for quite a few deer. So. But no, now I've got to try and top and tail this without without cutting myself. Cut the top of the heart right off through the lungs. I would have sooner gone for a shoulder shot, sort of like you say, sideways on, but that was the way he stood, and yeah, dealt with him lovely. 
things I'm confident with the rifle. I've shot a couple of foxes with it now and a couple of fallow and it's the first road deal I've had so you know, I was well happy with that. Early tea? All you do is eat, Jason, you've already had your dinner. You want another one? <laughs> that was lunch. That was lunch, was it? Yeah. Well, we could always go and set up a high seat and see if we can get a fox or something to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Answer that? Yeah. Let's do that then. Bring the keeper up when he comes and picks it up. I did think we were going to have to carry it back. You see how wet it was, the water coming off his wheels. And I rang him up and told him I got one. He said, oh, he said I'll come and pick it up. So that's quite handy. I did have, have worries of having to carry it all the way back. It's a bit of a drag. <laughs> so if we shoot anything now, I think we'll have to. So. But no, he said he's got one over the other side. He's got a broken front leg. He tried to shoot it earlier and didn't have any joy. It went back in the woods. So we're just going to mooch over there and see if we can maybe bump into that. And even better, maybe bump into a fox. Bloody cock pheasant now, it got me going. There's a cock pheasant just under that bush, look. I thought, what the fox looking at me? Give him round here, look. That's what he's smelling, I suspect. I bet that's what he's smelling. Go right down here. Yeah, it's been a great evening. Got what we come here to do. Earlier on in the day it was a bit wet. I thought, uh, then the sun came out, so I thought I'd give it a go up here and clearly did really. It's been a nice walk around. It's not all about shooting and stuff, but there's a bonus that that buck come across nicely. Uh, and then coming up through here, there's a, a doe stood in the rape here and she's just walked across in front of us. Not care in the world, so that's quite nice. No, it's been a good evening. Get in early in the morning. I've got a lorry to load of corn in the morning. A few jobs to do and then hopefully bump into a few pigeons tomorrow afternoon. <laughs>